Hi lovelies, welcome back to another garden series. First and foremost, how are you all doing? I mean you that is watching this video. I hope you and your family are doing good. I hope you and your family are doing amazingly wonderful. Let me know at the comment section below how you and your family are faring, okay? It's always important to ask. All right. I've been doing a lot of uh, harvesting recently because uh, it's actually time to harvest uh, all those uh, fresh vegetables and fruit in our garden. So this video is going to be a random harvest. Uh, actually, I came out to harvest uh, these fresh looking water leaves you have seen. But going around my garden, I saw other vegetables already matured and they are waiting to be harvested as well. So some days are like that. Sometimes when I go to my garden to harvest one or two things, I will end up harvesting more than expected. So before we dive into today's uh, harvest, I just want to quickly show you how well the fresh and water leaves are looking at the moment before I show you other vegetables or other fruit that I saw and uh, I want to harvest them as well. So just uh, take a look at the water leaves, watch, feel your eyes, <laughs> then I'll be right back okay So I haven't seen how the water leaves are looking. So here comes our red bell peppers. Oh my God. I was super excited when I behold and excited uh, the bell peppers. Like tell me you are not happy just like the way I am happy beholding this beautiful reddish bell peppers. Like I picked up uh, bell peppers on my garden on a daily basis. After the first uh, bell pepper harvest that I did, if you have not watched uh, the previous uh, bell pepper video that I uploaded, please kindly check it out. I'll be linking it at the end screen so that you watch it, okay? There are some days I pick or harvest uh, like uh, 10 pieces, 12, 7, 8, 5, you know. It depends on how matured and uh, ripe the bell peppers are. They are both uh, red and uh, greenish in color. And uh, you might also be wondering why the bell peppers are red now. Because all the bell peppers I harvested uh, earlier on was all green, right? So like I said, if you have not watched it, go ahead and watch it. So I'm just going to be harvesting uh, the bell peppers. Then I will explain to you how bell peppers work, okay? Now, this is how bell peppers work or the species of bell peppers. Most uh, bell peppers start off uh, with green and uh, as they are growing and they keep maturing on the van, they begin to ripen gradually on the van just like what you are seeing on my hand right now. Like you can never beat the beauty of red bell peppers. Just tell me on the comment section you are not happy seeing this beautiful looking red bell peppers. Just tell me on the comment section. So like I said, they keep uh, maturing on the van as they mature they keep ripening gradually on the van as well so yeah so bell peppers naturally ripen slowly sometimes it will take forever to even ripen on the van especially if the bell peppers or the plants are not happy like if the plants are not getting uh, enough uh, calcium potassium phosphorus magnesium like all the nutrient plants needs to grow sometimes the varieties of bell peppers don't even turn red at all until you harvest all those bell peppers that you have in your garden so from green 
to yellow then to red just like what you are seeing on my hand and the paraventure if you allow them to stay longer in the garden the plant will not turn to sweet yellow and the sweet red bell peppers as well but sometimes if you overlook them and you leave them on the garden for long as well your neighbors such as a squirrels, insects will come and help you and devour them <laughs> so you wouldn't want any squirrel to come and eat that sweet looking bell peppers okay so go ahead and pick them go ahead and harvest it and of course my cherry tomatoes are not left out like i can't even over emphasize on those uh, cherry tomatoes i also pick harvest them on a daily basis as well so i'm just going to set it aside then we'll move to the next level So moving on, over here are some of the okra that I planted. Although the okra have outgrown this very stage that you are seeing, these are some of the container tips or the container garden video that I uploaded, showing how you can start up a container garden if you don't have a, a massive um, backyard just like me, which I've already gone ahead to transplant as well, as you can see. So the day I transplanted uh, the okra, I couldn't carry you guys along because some days you don't just feel like vlogging, holding your camera, your phone, you know, some days are like that. So don't blame me, okay? So I have uh, other parts of the okra that I sessioned uh, on the other side, which I'm not going to be showing on this video as well. So like I said, it's going to be a random harvest. Just sit back and uh, enjoy as we do it together. But remember my purpose of coming to this garden is to harvest uh, the water leaves that I stated uh, earlier on. So I'm just going to pick, plug or harvest uh, some fresh scent leaf, aka in chuan, because I want to make uh, some recipe when I get inside the house. And uh, I have some frozen ones in the house as well, but I don't want to use that frozen one. I just feel like using this fresh scent leaf as well. So just say hi. Hi. Say how are you? What are you doing? Say hi. CJ, say hi. Say hi. So over here are the water leaves. I'm just going to be harvesting them much. And then at this point, uh, the struggle behind the camera with my keys is 100 over 100. <laughs> so I'm just going to harvest them off camera. Then when I'm done harvesting, I'll bring you guys back to show you how much of the water leaf that I got, okay? So sit back and don't go anywhere until I am done harvesting. So at this point, I've already taken my keys inside the house, like I stated earlier on. The struggle behind the camera, especially when I come to my garden to walk with my keys, is 100 over 100, like the struggle is for real. You have to make sure the keys are doing well, because if you allow them, they might hurt themselves. You know how smart these keys can be? So when I was taking them inside, I also took uh, some of the harvested and water leaves inside the house as well, just to ease me of the stress of coming in and uh, going in and coming in and going out again, okay? 
So I left uh, some of these ones here just to show you a little bit of the harvested and what I leave as well. Like uh, today's harvest was just a success. I feel super, super excited harvesting uh, the bell peppers, the scent leaf, aka in Chuanwo, down to the water leaves. I hope you enjoy watching this video and I hope you grab one or two things. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy making it. If you did, please give your girl a thumbs up. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. I really had fun harvesting all those harvestables. Thank you so much. I will see you all on my next video. One love. Bye for now.